In this video I'm going to take a look at nuclear symbols. So we've got the generic nuclear symbol there for element X and you can see there are two letters, there's a capital A and a capital Z. So what do they represent? Well the A represents the mass or the nucleon number and that just tells us the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of the atom. The Z represents the atomic or proton number and that represents the number of protons in the nucleus of the atom. So all we're going to do is we're going to use these three nuclear symbols here to work out how many protons, electrons and neutrons are in each of these. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then when you're ready play on and I'll go through the answers. So we'll start with the protons. You'll notice that I've missed out the atomic number for magnesium and lithium. So I've done that on purpose because the exam board sometimes like to do that. All you need to do is look at the data sheet periodic table and find the atomic numbers. So therefore we've got 17 protons in chlorine, 12 in magnesium and 3 in lithium. So we'll do the electrons next. Chlorine and magnesium are both neutral atoms. So they have the same number of positive and negatively charged subatomic particles. And so therefore chlorine has 17 electrons. Magnesium's got 12 electrons. Now lithium's a little bit different because I've gone for the ion instead. So we can see there it's got a 1 plus charge. And that means therefore that it doesn't have the same number of protons and electrons. To give it the 1 plus charge it must have one more proton than electron and so it's got two electrons. And then finally to get the number of neutrons we simply subtract this atomic number from the mass number and that's going to give us the number of neutrons so we've got 18, 12 and 4.